Hello and welcome to Geek at Play Studio Tutorials. In this series of tutorials, we'll look on a filter forge. We're going to discover this application on multiple levels. We'll see how it's work by just applying effect or using preset filters as well. In second part, we'll look how to create our own by using filter editor. So think about these applications as a two large sections. One, when you manipulate with already created filters and effects. And second, when you can create totally custom um, the filters or effect with visual editor as well filter forge is not just to um, create the filters textures it also apply effects to the already existing um, photos or images or other processing so it's kind of also two tools and one package so it's kind of utilized for either um, if you're creating any models, if you do any games, anything for creating textures, as well if you just like to work in Photoshop and manipulate with the image processing. Okay, so let's look on what we have it um, in our work area. On top, we have it our navigation bar. It's also you can access some options to this bar, and we'll look in a second. Next, we have it filter area where we have it filter categories and also filters. Above, we can search those filters from on your local um, library. You can access, um, and I recommend we look kind of on separate other uh, part, which is located on the uh, web, where we have it all um, collection of the filters, and we'll look at this a little bit later. But you can search local and you can access a uh, global library. Right below libraries, we have it our presets or section where we can manipulate with presets, where we can modify settings um, or receive additional information. And depending on what type of the filter or if it's effect or other things, these sections can have it more available tabs or more available um, options for us to work with. Also, you'll notice um, during two, we have it highlights right here, hyperlinks, the blue. Those are clickable as well, even though they don't represent as a buttons. They are provide some hyperlinks to help or to other web downloading. Um, also, we have it um, buttons duplicated. So, for example, we have it save image here. We also have an image save on the bottom of our web page. So let's look right now on the top navigation. In a file menu, we have it create new image. And normally you want to create new image if you work with new textures or you want to apply the preset. By clicking, it's come up prompt when we have it uh, what wide or height of the image we want it. If you're using the basic edition, I think maximum for your image, you can have it about 3000 by 3000. If you're using professional or standard editions, you can have an image above this. However, if be careful when you create extremely large image, um, be sure you have it plenty of the memory and other on your computer, so you don't have it unwanted exit from applications. So let's create 600 by 600 by default. And you notice because I select some filter, it will automatically apply to this effect. Okay, and area where we look right now, obviously it's our work area. In work area, you can manipulate um, zoom in or zoom out of the image. If you have a scroll mouse, you can actually scroll just with the mouse or you can press control minus or control plus and you can zoom this way as well. Um, for the tutorial, I will use it mouse, mouse command and command from the menu. So it's easy to follow what we're doing here. As well, if you zoom in and you right click, uh, left click on your mouse and hold down, you can drag your texture or image around so you can access to specific area that you want to see the effect. Okay, as well, when I mention uh, standard, basic, or professional edition, um, you can create filters and manipulate with the filters only with a standard or professional edition. Basic edition will allow you only work with the preset libraries that is available online um, currently libraries it's have over 4,000 filters I think and plus other effects it's a quite a bit large library of available presets and filters 